just saw there. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. The Texans sitting at a very solid 4-2 and two record through the first six weeks. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. This defense for the Packers, they were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Stroud. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Mixon with a first down carry. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders in the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and five. Stroud out of the gun here. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. First catch so far for the man who led the NFL coming into the weekend. He's got a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Mix it up the middle. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's a second and eight. Stroud to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. That's an early scramble to be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they're going to give me up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and a tackle because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop them on third down. Back to throw. Here's Stroud escaping the pressure right. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the Packers pick it up. A little careless.
Here's Stroud. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I mean, look at this Packers defense against the pass. They're hoping to trend in the opposite direction because right now they're ranked number 26 in the NFL. And even though that's not the greatest ranking in the world, one thing you can say, they get after the quarterback. They're in the top 10 in the league in sacks. Stroud looking to throw. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. Texans football to start quarter two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The throwing again is Stroud. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Now a second and ten. Throwing now is Stroud. A uh, short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. The Texans on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and eight. And Stroud now to throw. That one complete. It's Tank Dell. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 37. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from the... Okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now Stroud. He's got it to Collins complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 14. A good pick up there of 20 yards. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Week seven action, and we've got a seven-point game here in the second quarter. And this offense hoping to change that right here. Back to throw. Stroud flush to his right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Second and ten. A shotgun snap to Stroud. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in his first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. And the pressure gets to him again. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they are...
Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Stroud. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Rashawn Gary able to record his fifth sack of the season. And he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks, they're starting to pile up. If they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they got no chance to win this game. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. The coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come up and put a hit on him, do they? From the gun on third down, here's Stroud. To the right side and caught by Dell. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They run for it with Mixon. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one, he ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. They'll look to throw now on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to... I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Looking to throw. Stroud flushed out right. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Obviously a big play was needed. And you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big gain to boot. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but 
but could not get the ball over the chalk. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Another try for Mixon, and this time he is in. Yes. Joe Mixon with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year, and the Texans. Mixon will get it to start the second half. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. It's Mixon on the counter. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's second and ten. Stroud working out of the gun. That'll be pulled in downfield by Collins. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give him a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Throwing again on second and ten. Stroud, that's complete to Dell. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle, complete. That's Collins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got his man, Dell. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Mixon again. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Joe Mixon 
with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second and nine, Stroud. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. All right. Stroud off the play fake. This one taken in by Stover. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's a give to Mixon. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Back to Mixon on second down. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Four yards the pickup, first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A quick throw there, gonna be batted away and incomplete. And their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Back to throw. Stroud. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But well, it looked like a march to the end zone is had a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw. Stroud. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing.
throwing to start the drive. Stroud got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. A handoff to Mixon. Fighting him off. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 77 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Back to throw now on first down. Steps away to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. From the 48-yard line, here's second and three. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. Right side complete. That's Woods. First target, first catch, and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Stroud out of the gun here. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Once again, they run with Mixon. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Just inside the 15, even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. The Lambeau faithful making as much noise as they can. It's third down. Here's Stroud. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down.
Now Joe Mixon. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. And they will take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game in this one is the one that decides it. And the Texans are going to win the football game. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And never an easy thing to do, no matter how good Green Bay is, what the year is, to come into Lambeau and get the victory. But they did it. You're not just battling the team that you're playing that day. You're not just battling the crowd that's in attendance in that game. You're battling the history of the franchise. You're battling the ghosts that swirl around that place that helped spur them on to victory. It is an unbelievable atmosphere, the most historic place in the league, and you have to make sure you stay focused on your task, otherwise you can get easily distracted. Yeah, hats off to them for keeping that laser focus and getting the victory. So for the Texans, the win moves them up to five and two now on the year, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, the loss drops them back to four and three so far. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. Thank you. 